Alison Suso, the author of The Light of Darkness. And at a recent book signing at the Knights of Columbus in Wappingers Falls, Suso spoke about his mission and a secret he hid from everyone for 32 years. What they didn't see is what I go through every day. So today I'm sure they'll be very surprised. <laughs> we'll reveal his secret in a little bit. But first let's talk about his mission, to help young people facing difficulties, like the interaction he had with one of his New York City high school students. She was despondent, she was rejected, and when he talked to her and told her his story, she had two choices according to him. She could either stay bitter, or she could get better. Her head was always down on the table. And then after a week, I realized something was terribly wrong. I thought she was under the pressure of the final exams. Then we sat down to talk. And what she told me was, well, my mom kicked me out of the house. And right now I don't have a place to stay. So what I told her was, every circumstance can be an excuse to fail. Or it could be a reason to do something greater for your life. And who would know better than Suso? He came to the United States when he was 16, kicked out of his father's house, and to top it off, was challenged by a debilitating disease called retinitis pigmentosa. They could not diagnose it, they don't know what it was. So nobody knew what was wrong with me until I came to this country 16 years ago. It's a rare eye condition that is only happening in like less than 25,000 people around the world. It basically closes from the, from, from the peripheral to the central. And what my doctor told me was that you will be legally blind by the time you're 26. Al Hassan was, for all intent and purposes, going blind. Going through that without nobody knowing that you have a vision challenge, because I never told any of my teachers or anything. I would sit in the classroom, I learned through hearing, not through seeing, because I, could, I couldn't see the board. Yeah. And my students, what they don't realize is that when I write, they're like, we can understand. I'm like, what they don't understand is how much I struggle to write on the board. The Light of Darkness traces his journey from Africa's smallest nation, Gambia, to the United States. And fitting that this industrious man, who is slowly going blind, reflects on what we can see, what we are conditioned to see, and what we can learn to see. I'm a big believer that there is light in every darkness because it is either you either move forward or you give up. And then if I would have given up 16 years ago, I mean you will get to see you, you get to see some of my students here. Uh, I wonder where their lives will end up today. But then what I'm hoping for them to get out of it is that I was able to lift a lot of them through my limited vision. They could lift a lot more with their bigger vision. Al Hassan is a walking testament to that. He graduated with honors from the University of Vermont, received his master's in teaching from Bard College, and has devoted his life to young people facing difficulties, especially new immigrants. And for that student, who had lost all hope? Of course, we worked together over the course of the next two months. What I told her was, you have two options in life. You could become bitter, or you could become better. Only you can decide that. And then she graduated. So at graduation, she told me, guess what? I have become better. Al Hassan Suso, the author of The Light of Darkness.